What's up guys? I'm Nick and this is Build Dad Build, a place where we firmly believe if you love something, set it on fire. Alright guys, check this out. New merch, baby! <laughs> the Build Dad Build whiskey label. Gotta love it. If there's anybody out there that's actually making whiskey, let's let's chat. Let's talk about maybe a maybe a Build Dad Build limited edition or something. <laughs> but if we do that, you gotta make sure that it's extra stanky. <laughs> We're building a bed. So my little whippersnappers are becoming big whippersnappers very quickly. They have outgrown their converted crib beds and they need big kid beds. So on this episode, we are going to build a loft style bed for my son, Ozzy. And then we're gonna put a little stank on it. I have plants here. They're fairly hard to read with all the dimensions and stuff on them. These will also be available on my website, builddadbuild.com, underneath the plans tab. Now, I don't know about you guys, but lately when I go to the deepers or the lows, the lumber kind of sucks. And I had to buy like 16 two by fours for this project. So we're gonna have to work around some maybe not so savory pieces. And I spend a lot of time in the lumber section picking through lumber. But lately it's just been garbage, more than normal. Like I think I got all the straight ones and then 13 others. <laughs> First thing we're gonna do is build the four uprights. Those are gonna be 90 inches. So we're gonna cut those down and then we're gonna resaw them. And then I'm gonna cut down the two bys that will create both ends of our uprights. And then we'll build the box for the frame. And eventually if things go right, we'll put it all together. Sound cool? Cool. And the reason I'm gonna build it in sections like that is it's gonna be easy to, easier to take into the house and assemble in his room once all the pieces have been put together. Now, all I wanna do is zoom a zoom zoom in a vroom vroom. Actually, I just wanna take a nap. Okay, kids, today is Labor Day. I'm gonna try not to be in the shop all day because the kids are home and we're gonna be barbecuing and stuff like that. But I did wanna try to get as much of the frame for the bed built today. Now, while I'm cutting that frame, I'm just going to cut out uh, the other pieces that are the same size as the frame. So the side rails of the frame are 80 inch two by eights, but I have a couple of uh, one by fours that are also 80 inches. So I'm gonna cut those now, but we're not gonna put them on yet. And then the head and the foot of the bed, those are our 40 inches, and those will be two by eights as well, but then I need 11 more 40 inch one by fours that'll make the slats. I don't know if you can even see this. You know what slats are, right? But you know, like the slats for the bed.
Careful, bud. Why? Because, one, you're no longer pointing your at me, which is my one. And two, it'll just stick a finger in there or something. Why? Because it would cut it off. How? It's a very fast spinning blade in there, man. guys it is the next day again what I did off camera was I ripped it on a two by four to a one and a half by one and a half inch square we're gonna attach those to the bottom of the bed and this is where the slats are gonna rest on um, also off camera I beveled all the edges of the box the top of the box and just the bottom of the bottom of the box because you're not gonna see that inside bevel maybe I will bevel it I don't know but what I've done is I have pocket holes on either end that's gonna go in there and there. Uh, this has also already been glued to it, and then I'm going to uh, screw through this board into this board. So we have plenty of support for those slats and for my kid. Also, one thing to note, come here. See this little gap right here? That's cause, cause I, I didn't measure twice before I cut. Um, actually, I've got a little bit more space up here than I do down there due to a twist in this board. So we're going to just knock this in there and screw through this into the frame so we don't have a space here that could, you know, cause some integral problems. Hola, it's me. Senior Puff Puff. Okay, so poly on the main components has been applied. So you'd think this build is almost over, but it's not. And that's because I didn't cut some of the connecting pieces because I had it in my head, well, once I get it in the room, then I will, you know, I can cut those pieces to fit once it's in there. I didn't can take into consideration that I have to burn those pieces, I have to stain them, and I have to poly those as well. So off camera, I cut some of those pieces and now we gotta get a little fire on them and then we're gonna stain those as well. In my original design, I had, a, I had three runners running across the back. This is feeling pretty stout. So I'm not sure if it's gonna need three runners. It's probably gonna need one runner so it doesn't rack, but I'm not gonna cut those yet because I wanna see kinda how well this thing holds together uh, without. Installation day.
That's your new mattress, buddy. Um, 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 I wish I could sleep up there. <laughs> like, up high. Climb on up, bud. Yeah. 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 Down. Yeah, you climb down over here. <laughs> <laughs> Which we're gonna do right now, huh? You got it? I'm up here. Now <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're up. We're up. We can even touch the ceiling. What's up, guys? So what'd you think? The kids dug it. There wasn't too many hiccups along the way. This is a pretty simple project, actually. It's just time consuming. There's a lot of lumber to cut and there's a lot of assembly. There's, since you've got a lot of lumber, you've got a lot of standing, a lot of finish. So the only unfortunate thing I would say about this kind of project is it just takes longer. So this has taken me about two, two and a half weeks to put together. I've had some other projects in there too, but it's not something that you can just whip up really quick. You've got drying times for stains, drying time for poly, things like that. Not to mention life. The two biggest problems I ran into with this project, and of course I didn't catch either one on video. The first one was when I was setting up the bed, and I really thought I had this on, on video. Uh, when I was trying to set both sides of the bed in so I could screw them together. One side fell off and put a big old dent in the wall. And luckily the wall caught it because if not, the other side of that bed would have gone straight through the window. So I strongly suggest you have someone else help you assemble this if you decide to make it. The other issue I had, and I'm not sure exactly what this stems from, the two end panels they are consistently 43 inches across about three quarters of the way up. And I would think having six supports in there plus the bed frame and everything that that would remain the same. But when you get up to the very top, they are about three quarters of an inch wider. I don't quite, the bottom is square. So I'm not sure if there's just kind of like a little warp. It just seems odd that it's on both ends, but the supports that run across the ends on the very top are not flush with everything else. There's a, there's a little bit of space in there. I will go back and fix that. I just, I, I had it three quarters of the way assembled. I didn't have time to do those rails again and I had to go pick up my kid. So I, I, like I had to do something to make sure that it was safe. Now I'm gonna keep an eye on this bed. Right now it is, totally stable i like i don't really have any fears of it like anything happening the only concern and i think this is highly unlikely is that somehow they get it to tip one way if they were really screwing off in there my kids are pretty rambunctious so i wouldn't put it past them i'm just going to keep an eye on them while they're playing on it if it seems like it's going to rock at all i'm just going to get a couple of bolts and i'm going to tie it to the studs in the wall behind it and special thanks to Artistic Vivations for sending me out that stain. It doesn't even translate really well onto video. I don't know how I could ever get it to. It's got a metallic property to it that just doesn't really show up when I look at it. But seeing it in person, it's sparkly. And it's really cool when you're doing something like a kid's bed. And while we're talking about special thanks, I would like to thank all of my patrons. You guys make the magic happen. A special thanks goes to index card, please. Nick the Greek. Stephen Mann, Easy E, Eric Weiss, Derek Coates, still cheating, Caveman Ross, Chuck Faulkner, and The Weekend DIYer. You guys know what you did. And you'll do it again if you have to. Other than that, guys, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. As always, I'll leave links to the products I use in the description down below. Most of those are affiliate links, so if you are planning on purchasing one of those items, if you use my links, it just helps me out a little bit, helps out the channel. Mucho.
Appreciado. Appreciado? I don't speak Spanish. I speak whiskey. Clinkies. And until next time, thanks for playing. And now I got to get to work.